Hello, I'm going to demonstrate my Textbox project. The Textbox is a project that you can get from the Unity Asset Store, but I, of course, have it locally. However you got it, you have to import the package before you can use it. You have to import everything. Now this package contains all the stuff you need to get the text box running, except for all your custom fonts and stuff. It also contains a demo, which you can also view online. And it contains a gizmo folder. The gizmo folder contains all the icons for the custom assets and objects. If you want to use the gizmos, you have to move them to the root of your project. Even worse, you have to restart Unity before Unity will actually start using those items. So, with that out of the way, let's create a text box. You can find it under Game Object Create Other Text Box. Here's your text box. You can type in text. But it won't show because you haven't got a font yet. How do you get a font? Well, you get a font by getting a TrueType font file from somewhere, either from your system phones or from the web store or whatever. As long as you got the rights to use it, it's fine. You got to convert that font into a bitmap font and then import that bitmap font into Unity. It's quite a lot of work, but it allows you a lot of flexibility. I'm going to create a folder to hold my font. I'll call it Bleeding Cowboys because that's the font I'm going to show you. I'm going to use the TBL theme editor to create my bitmap font. I prefer this one, but you can use another one as well. It's a web start uh, application available for free online. Is my font bleeding cardboard. I'm going to stick to the basic letter, don't need anything else. I'm going to use a 256 texture atlas and I'm going to add some manual padding which is extra space around every character which I'm going to use for neat extra effects like outlines and shadows. So let's just add three pixels around all oh characters and scale down my font until it fits. That's it. Good enough. It's important that you use a square atlas. I'm going to save this font. I'm going to save it directly inside my project, that's not required, but it's quite convenient. Bleeding Cowboys, okay. Call it Bleeding Cowboys. That's it. Back into Unity. Here's our stuff. So, this is the FNT file. Unity doesn't know how to handle it, but you can create a new text box font. Here we go. Call it Green Cowboys as well. And use that to import the FD file. Now it's imported. Good. So now we have our text box and we're going to assign our font. Characters are showing up. That's good. However, they don't have a material yet. So, next step is to create a new material. Create material. I'll also call it Bleeding Cowboys. I will use the simple text box Alpha Blend Shader and assign a Bleeding Cowboys texture. Now assign the material to my text box and there you go, here's your text. Hello world. 
Now you can start tweaking your box, like changing the width, changing alignment, changing the text color, or whatever else you want. So this doesn't look very good. If you want to use any of the advanced shaders, you're going to need the distance map. You can use the distance map generator tool from Catlight Coding, which is available for free on the website. I already have it locally, so I'm just going to import it now. Here we are, it's a small package. This tool gives you this this is map generator window. You can put any anti aliased texture into it and generate a distance map. Make sure that the texture is read write enabled, otherwise it won't work. So we have to change the atlas, set the mode to advanced, enable read write and also get rid of any compression otherwise the quality will suffer let's try again generate here's our distance map great now we can tweak this thing like this fine okay I'm gonna use this I'm gonna save it as the bleeding combos distance map we don't need this one anymore and this is the distance map. It's important to use a clamp rep mode. And for maximum quality, don't compress it. And you only need the alpha channel. So alpha 8 is a very good format to use. I'm also going to use trilinear filtering and aniso for maximum because that's just neat. Hit apply. Now I'm going to use my distance map and it looks really bad. That's because I'm using the wrong shader. Alpha Blend does not expect the distance map. So let's switch this to smooth. Now that's a lot better. Smooth has parameters that you can use to control well the smoothness of the edge of text like this. You can control how bold it is, and uh, you can invert it. You make it very. You can basically make it look like an alpha test shader, or very vague shader, or anything in between. And of course, there are more shaders. For instance, the outline shaders, which adds a nice outline. This outline is a little too big. So let's say and four. Here we go. Neat little outline. Have fun tweaking it. <laughs> 